Hello there, today I have this uh, G1 cliff jumper, Lego G1 cliff jumper. And he's, yeah, he's just um, a little um, rebuild of Bumblebee, except some things are a little different, like, especially the back here. It's not a Volkswagen Beetle anymore, so I gave cliff jumpers some squ more squared off um, tail lights. And he has a spoiler, even though it doesn't uh, fully go around, that's just kind of impossible for the hinge there. Uh, back transformation is still the same, except the colors kind of make it uglier now, since it uh, doesn't blend in too well. If this piece came in red, I would have used it, but I do not have it in red. Um, yeah, but the rest of the vehicle mode, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the front doesn't really remind me of the vehicle he actually transforms into. Still kind of looks like the Volkswagen Beetle to me. But the transformation had to remain the same, so that's how it has to be. And you also might have noticed there's studs around. I just don't have a lot of these um, red 1x2s for some reason. Very surprised. But apparently I don't have a lot of them. So, yeah, that's the vehicle mode. Now let's get on to comparisons. Here he is with, uh, what's... Match Stripe, that's her name. Sorry. Um, but here's Cliff Jumper with Match Stripe. Um... The timing is kind of weird because I'm recording this before I do the Match Stripe review, but the Match Stripe review will come out before this video. So as you can see, Match Stripe isn't in all of her correct colors, but in her review, she'll be the correct colors because I had to take pieces from her to build Cliff Jumper. So there's that comparison. Hasbro figures. The same length, uh, I just counted it, five, six, seven, eight studs long and about like four studs tall, four and a half. I'm going to speed run the transformation since you've already seen it and it's the exact same so for Bumblebee so yep the arms out like that so I'll do it like this fold this section out so I'll actually swivel this around first um, for Cliff Jumper to keep him uh, different from Bumblebee you can keep it like this but um just for the sake of uh, the hinge being there, I want to use the transformation, so we're just going to do it the bumblebee way, where it swivels around. And then this piece goes up, swivels around, goes onto his chest, and uh, leg transformation is still the same as everything else. Um, yeah, to swivel it on the side from the bar so it's disconnected and then well, since the piece is different from bumblebee you kind of just fold it down now instead of like shifting it around it just folds down now so it's cleaner and yeah that's cliff jumper in his robot mode already and um colors are technically inaccurate uh the dark gray parts are supposed to be a light gray but I don't have a lot of light gray in these pieces so this just looked better in the end and I still think it looks recognizable as G1 cliff jumper but for you trying of uh, those of you trying to build um cliff jumper uh, he does have different pieces so I'm just showing off those different pieces this is an awkward area right here but it's a different piece um well two different pieces you can tell how to build that right um, this right here doesn't necessarily need to be two separate pieces, I just didn't have it in one singular flowing piece, so I had to change it. And obviously the most uh, noticeable one, the spoiler back here. You just add two red cheese slopes. And other than that, you just change the colors. And that's really it. So it's the same figure overall. And I guess you could also see this as like a Skybound or Energon Universe uh, Cliff Jumper since he's one of the prominent characters in that series. But, uh, yeah, that's his robot mode. Same articulation as Bumblebee, obviously. Nothing's really changed. Also, for those of you wondering um, if I'm going to build um, the other Seekers from Starscream, I don't, I don't believe I even have the pieces to do that, unfortunately, and he's he's already broken apart, so... It's too late now. Here's Cliff Jumper with some Hasbro figures. Cliff Jumper is eight studs tall, but if you want to count the horns, eight and a half. 
And finally, here's Cliff Jumper with my Lego stuff. Or this is technically um a character from Nacho, one of my viewers. So yeah. That's it for Cliff Jumper, but for fun, um, and to just give Cliff Jumper some time of his own instead of just being the quick review because he's just a repaint guy. Uh, still just gonna show off some articulation. I'm not gonna name it though. You can see what's happening, pretty sure. Legs kick out pretty far. I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that just falls apart. It kicks um, forward that far. Yeah. I'll see you next time.